in Ratatat Cat, less is always better. It's a card game designed for fun and to improve your executive functions such as working memory, planning and goal focusing. In the Feuerstein perspective, there are a lot of cognitive skills that can be improved. Some of them are clear and focused perception, considering multiple sources of information, spontaneous comparative behavior, broadening the mental field, hypothetical thinking, summative behavior, projection of virtual reports, avoiding trial and error, blocking impulsiveness. Okay, let's get started. Shuffle the deck and deal four cards, one at a time. All cards need to be face down, but this time we are going to show you how to play with all the cards face up. This is going to be useful for you to understand this fun game. The first player draws the first card from the discard pile. A card is useful if you can replace one of your cards. It must contain at least a lower number than one of your cards. Replace it. Then it's the turn of your opponent. If the number is higher than any of your cards, Discard it directly on the discard pile. Remember, this is just an easy explanation because the real game must be played with the cards of each player face down. We also have free power cards or special cards that do not have any number of them. Pick. This card allows you to take a peek at your cards to refresh your memory and verify if you remember well which card you drew during the game. This is the only case in which you can look at your cards. Draw 2. Well, it's a nice pick. You can draw two cards instead of one. Swap. You may switch one of your cards, any one, with one of any cards of your opponent. Remember, you are not allowed to check the card of your opponent and your opponent must not look at the card you swap. The game ends when you think that your score is lower than your opponent. How? Knocking on the table and saying rat at cat and the end of your turn. Obviously, it works if you play with the regular rules with all the cards face down. Check the total score of your cards and your opponents. Maybe you were strategic and lucky enough to have the lowest score. And if not, do not despair. Start a new game and have fun. Do you have a good memory? Are you a strategic person? Don't worry. If not, let's improve your skills with this absolute amazing card game. 